<laughs> yeah. Light Josh. And then, uh, so Brittany's sitting there, and Mara's like, I think it needs to go to the left a little bit. My brother Kevin's like, yeah, you're, dys you're dyslexic, so let's not fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> and Br Brittany was like, oh, 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 genuinely shocked and upset. That he called. I mean, she was laughing, but she was like, that's Who did he call dyslexic? Mara. He discounted. Is she? Yeah. Oh, well, then she cannot have he my seed. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I won't be planting anything in there. <laughs> Sorry, bro. That's, pretty, bad. that's bad. genuinely pretty my funny. Bad. No, that's pretty funny. I realized it was a PA as soon as it left my mouth. That's I was not like, a, I, will, I see. It's one of those things that's not a PA, but it's one of those things that should be. <laughs> to anybody else, that should be a PA. Yeah, to me, it's genuinely funny. But Thanks, we have a very medieval. Um, True. We have a very medieval kind of philosophy to the women in our family. Yes. They're just for our personal gain and advantage. Yes. So it's like, I need to raise mine up. That would be a huge... <laughs> right now, we got to pick it up. <laughs> I'm telling My you. stonks are down, dude. <laughs> that was the currency in ancient Ireland, which is women. Yeah. Pretty sick, dude. We got a real... It was just women. <laughs> we got inflation. You just... You were just... <laughs> women were like mining bitcoins. You just had daughters. You're like, sweet, I got a bitcoin. Yeah. You were just fucking... Bitcoin. Yeah, bitcoin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. And then you, you had bitch coins, and then a dude had his own honor price. So you would just tell people, you're like, if you piss me off, it's going to cost you five chicks and five cows. And someone's like, that's too high of a fucking honor price. And they would fuck you up. And if they won, <laughs> yeah. you had to drop your honor price. So, like, a yeah. lord had, like, I think it was the standard thing was, like, seven women, seven cows, and, like, you know, however many ounces of silver. As a peasant, if you, you could, like, kill his brother and be like, all right, dude, what's your honor price? One cow? Here you go. Shut the fuck up. And if they complain, you would just kill them. Like, fuck off. <laughs> Dude, ancient Ireland was fucking crazy. We need some prima nocta. We need to bring that back. Prima nocta? That's why I'm coming to your wedding. You serious, dude? <laughs> now you're firing me <laughs> up. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're lucky I know what that is, dude. <laughs> Matt, I could have been like, yeah, well, it's cool. <laughs> yeah, maybe we should. <laughs> yeah, prima nocta was pretty. Uh... Oh, we do have prima nocta over you two. Oh, 100%. Me and Matthew both have. We have prima nocta. We're going to three way prima nocta. For sure. If you get married, we're going to fuck you on your wedding night. <laughs> fuck you on your wedding night. We have gay prima nocta. I wonder if that existed. That'd be pretty tight. Oh, dude, for Just sure. Just an English lord was like, who's getting married? Bring him to me. Oh, for sure. <laughs> Just plowed him. Dude, 100%. Just deflowered every man on their wedding night. I'm still digging into the Rome, or not Rome book, the debt book, and they go back through ancient Rome and Greece and how, like, that was pretty much the deal. You would, uh... There were just people, you if you got captured in war, people were going to fuck you in the butt. Yeah. And then you could slowly start to get your way out of being like a slave, but then they would still like sell their ass. And it was one of those things where it was like, basically in Rome, it was like you could fuck dudes in the ass, but if you got fucked, they were like, <laughs> loser, <laughs> loser. They It was kind of one of those things where like, I think peasant. that like is like Afghanistan. It was for poor people. I think that holds up in a lot of countries. It was trashy to get fucked in the butt. Oh yeah, for it's sure. It's uncouth. It, it was one of those things where like... Yeah, it's probably all they're getting fucked in the. Was like, there was like four but jobs. Imagine so. if you could totally disassociate, like mm -hmm. what was going on. Take one in the butt mm -hmm. through no, like zero. It had no effect on you. Like you weren't like this sucks. You could just go around take stuff in the ass and then gain yeah money. You can get coins whenever you wanted. True. You'd be like somebody just toss one in me. I would say yes. You could get came inside of, but there was no Astro Glide back then, so it was like. You know, it would just be like lamp oil. I bet there was. Yeah, I bet they had something. Yeah, they probably did have some stuff. I mean, think of what you would do as like a young lad, what you would go for for lube. True. They were just doing that. No, they you're right. Know, they they, had, they had olive oil. They had stuff. They had olive oil. They'd yeah. drizzle. They'd drizzle a little loogies. bit. Loogies. Some loogies. <laughs> <laughs> some guys' loogies. But, dude, they... uh Jar loogies. Oh, just spitting. Break it out. Just spitting to, right up your fucking... Right in your keister. Just like it, your livelihood butthole. That was that was your fucking hammer, dude. They were just fucking, <laughs> fucking cleaning that thing out every day, dude. I was, that was life or death. What taking it in the like keys, dude's butthole? Like a young Greek boy would come. A lot of Greeks would come to Rome to gain citizenship, so you could sell yourself into slavery, then have one of your uh, affluent friends buy you out of it. But dude, like the guy could come if you were there for like you know, say like the dude got like a like his donkey's leg got broken. Yeah. Your master could be like, I'm going to fuck you in the ass. Like, no, 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 it's just a misunderstanding. I'm rich. I swear yeah, I'm yeah. rich. And they'd be like, there's no recourse. Sure. Like, I'm going to fucking kill. They could kill you, fuck you in the ass. But a lot of times, <laughs> they would, it was like a citizen. You should do a history podcast. Dude, I'm, I'm just the history of I'm, getting fucked in the ass. I'm just ancient history. I'm strictly ancient <laughs> history, dude. Dude, they got into the idea of, um, 
free peasantry. That's what that we're right now. The people are going to democracy republic. We're in a free peasantry system. They yeah. figured out around the actual age. I mean, dude, please stop me if I'm getting too technical. But around the actual age, about 800 BC to 600 AD, they this started. Is, you got some. You're in my ass right now. <laughs> I'm just like, oh, I can do it for a couple coins. <laughs> I can let this guy butt fuck me. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> but the bunch of places all at once kind of figured out because really it would like you know say like we are a feudal society we're obviously the lords these True. are our vassals. <laughs> <laughs> I looked over. He's sitting there. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> so we're lords. Or say you're the lord. I'm your vassal. And then no, I, no, I no, vassal no, no. out. Well, just just Wait, would, let's go. Well, there Game was no Thrones. equality. There was, I'm Robert. You're the True, hands. but exact, but there's no. It, it was very. It, it was hierarchical. All dude, feelings aside, I just care about getting accurate to the historical portrayal. Okay, so it has to be. I'm Robert. You're Ned. Fair enough. Fair. Still, it's a vassal relationship. And this is the hound and the mountain. Yeah, but Two we, brothers. I want to break them down to peasants, right. though, so we can go. They all are way peasants. Through. So we we can say Disgusting. yeah, mayor could be perhaps a little tooth. And then Noah, maybe a peasant. Again, this has nothing to do with you sending me mean texts. It could be anyone. It could be the thing. Yes. No, you're clearly a peasant. So they figured. So like, B, we were just all we would just dominate each other all day long. And then the military was for like noble born. So then like the noble borns would go out and be like, let's go conquer. And they'd be like, yeah, and like you know, fight people and all that stuff. And then they figured out they're like, all right, if we give. Uh, the poor, the peasants. If we give the peasants a little bit of land and then give them coins and say, like, hey, this is money. Come bring us money. You know, I think I talked about this before. Just bring us a little bit of money. It's called taxes. Otherwise, we'll fucking kill you. Um, so then you're working the farm, and they're like, hey, the farm's kind of falling behind. You had yeah. a bad crop. Let's get some of those boys going into the army, and we'll give you some money. So then they, they figured out they had a free peasantry. They would uh, take the, the farmer's sons and th put them into war, and let other, they let basically the poor people go start doing their conquering for them. And it worked out awesome. But the problem was, in order to conquer, you need more money. So then they would go get mines. They would take people over, get slaves to mine more money so they can get more soldiers. And the whole thing kind of went on and on and on. But pretty sick. So that's how we live in a free peasantry right yeah. now. So you free your peasants, but then you draft all of the children. And you make it you make it like hard for them to kind of get ahead. But you offer, like, the, make sure the military is, like, a significant amount of money. Just enough. And you just constantly just keep milling people over. That's why you can't let people get too affluent because the military enlistment falls off. So, dude, they they like have documents saying all this stuff. There was a uh, India, Rome, Greece. Dude, Greece was fucking hilarious too because in Greece they didn't do in, like so like when money first came out, Greeks they didn't. You had a farm, so you're like you saw money and the commerce was for kind of peasants. You're like, ew, dude. And all as an affluent Greek, affluent Greek, you just train for the Olympics. So you just like try to get you would eat, stay on your farm yeah, like eat you got grapes. naked wrestle. Yeah, you naked wrestle, and then you would just fuck boys. Like they, that was a, a big rite of passage. So if it, was you were, guy, it was a paradise. It was guy. It was guy. It was bad. It was guy heaven. <laughs> it was guy so heaven. you would wrestle, train, argue philosophically, and then be like, "Let's get one." I like that boy. I'm going to train him. And you were like, "Give your." You would give this boy everything you know. That's like how I approached open mic comedy, for, dude. For, I was like, I was like, I like that boy. I brought in the young Mexer, <laughs> and I plowed him for sure. For spots. <laughs> <laughs> I sunk my dong into him deep. It had to, dude. And then th he would, that would be, I mean, <clears throat> that gets into another thing too of, uh, it's called homosexual reproduction. So there's like, you can reproduce with a woman, but your offspring, your biological offspring is going to be half that woman. If you want a pure son, you get, you have a met, you have a young boy in a homosexual relationship and you download your entire spirit into that person. And then that's another part of your legacy. That's more truly. Did you, you tell Bill this? No, I haven't. He, told that him. was like a tip he was on. Really? He was like, I mean, it doesn't have to be. He was like, it would be cooler if guys could just marry other guys <laughs> and reproduce with guys. <laughs> he said that. It's tough staying in the closet when you're autistic, dude. <laughs> yeah, but, and it's funny, too, because he's like autistic gay. <laughs> he's like, he's not doing it because he's sexually attracted. He's no. doing it. He's like, because I like being around guys for more. Sure, for sure. It'd be cooler if we could just be around each other. <laughs> And then just had like you find another his I think his explanation this is this is war mode listen to it yeah. he's talking about you got to find other guys that you get along with like you and me are pals sure you and me could have a son true an elite son combined oh. autistic and drunk damn <laughs> <laughs> that's a sick uh, idea unstoppable for yeah now he sold me I figured it's so you could so you can have like statistically sound you can have a traditional monogamous heterosexual marriage where you both have yeah you have a but son but then two dudes could squat up in like a different type of arrangement yes. that'd be pretty tight two straight guys could adopt a kid yeah that's actually a good idea and then they just go back and forth you can just chuck and marry a kid that's awesome 
You know, we could fake be gay, get married, and adopt a child. Well, I don't understand why, you know, I mean, I don't understand why, I don't know if be, you'd have to be why do you have to be gay to adopt a child? I think that's unfair. I think as a heterosexual, we should be able to have our heterosexual Christian households and then adopt a son together as an, we would be the, we that could person's start guardian a, and yeah. that joint custody almost. We start basically a barracks. You and me could move in together. Yeah. Kill your parents. For sure. 100%. Take the compound. Yeah, I got to take that over for sure. You have to poison it's the for well. for the good of the boy. Poison the well over there. I could, literally. Put a goat's head in the well. <laughs> I'll supply it. Yeah. Get a goat's head, put it in the well. That'll render them. my sister financially insolvent. Uh-huh. That way you could swoop in there. Perfect. She can live. Well, that's Keep what I'm saying, her. but she yes. would be very dependent. Yes. You know, I mean, she works, but yeah. Nothing compared to the coinage we're going to be stacking with all these boys. We need to start a, we need to start a mint. That's the thing. We got to start making our own coins. That was the, that was the big thing. <laughs> you start a mint. You would just go in, extract metals, and then do currency. Then have those people you paid to go take other medals from other people, make currency, get more soldiers, get more slaves. So once we've taken out your parents, yeah, and yeah, rendered, they they rendered everyone pretty weak, yeah, through whatever disease the goat's head will inflict. Maybe a, maybe I can do a bit of an ergot. We just put infection. the goat's head in the pool. Right? It? Yeah, I don't think I don't it'll think, keep I think them out. It affect, they won't yeah, notice. Yeah, that, that would, that would be, not going to stop the cannonballs. That would be tossed and the jack. Yeah, that would, be, that would that would just be <laughs> tossed back and forth like a pool volleyball. Then we set up a barracks. We start adopting kids. Bring them in. Train them up. Get them jacked. True. Get them supple. Yep. Have our way with them if need be. If need be. Obviously, yeah, yeah, obviously. Not out of anything other than... Greek philosophy. Greek philosophy. <laughs> respecting Western thought. <laughs> uh, yeah, I just don't want democracy to die. So. Yes. So obviously we're going to have sex with the kids we've adopted. Just so they totally understand our lessons. Yes. 100%. You got a hammer at home. Hundred percent. Yeah, <laughs> uh, and then I don't know where to go from there. That's probably as far as the plan goes. I, mean, I think that's what uh, the allegory of the cave was about. It's just a guy like sixty nineing. Like, can you if a if a hairy butthole is in front of your face as you suck your master's dick, can you really see what's happening? Dude? <laughs> I can't believe people think this podcast sucks. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Come on, it's just you and me sitting there like we should fuck kids. <laughs> <laughs> no, we would never. That's fucking crazy. Yeah, dude. That that was. That could have been the downfall of uh, Greece, man. They it, got too butt friendly. The lower, the lower classes were like they got real butt enterprising, hungry. yeah, enterprising and doing things, and the the, the elites were like, "That's disgusting." Yeah, and just like sat around, kicked some ideas around, and then uh, the Romans fucking <clears throat> came through. <laughs> My headache's going away. You, you just charmed need, you just it. You charmed it out of me. Ancient history, dude. I, that's all I needed. I've been I've been working on where are we at time wise. Fifty four minutes. Perfect. Ah, um, I'm I'm working on a hard dude on a hardcore history. I'm excited. It's coming, man. but I listened to. I don't want to give it away. This will give, this will give the topic away for mm-hmm. sure. But uh, I down I've been listening to this book on tape that I thought was the book on the Civil War. It's about, it's called Killer Angels. Yeah. It's uh, the movie Gettysburg is based off of it, and since I was a McCusker about that movie when I grew up, <laughs> yeah. I was fully McCusker watching <laughs> yeah. this movie. I watched it every fucking day, and uh, so now I know I know the dialogue. They took it from the book, so I'm listening to this book, and I just know I can see every scene. Damn, so you're watching the movie. I'm watching the movie while listening to the audio book at, at night. It's pretty tight. That's fucking awesome, dude. But it's fiction. I didn't know the book was fiction. What? It's a. It's supposed to be like the d- definitive. Civil War novel. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, it's a novel, but yeah, it's a fucking fiction. It's like first person from every character, from every like historical figure. It's just made up. You think? You think they're it like, was supplemented is, by facts? This is what they would say. Yeah, it definitely was. Oh, but the, yeah, absolutely. Of was. course, they're gonna throw. But in, it's yeah, still throw like in the dialogue. But the, it's almost. It reads like a script. Like it yeah. reads like. I don't know, but then they, they just made everybody so like back then you would speak like romantically. Probably. You'd be like, yeah, that was like how they talked back then. They're yeah. like, oh, my old brother. Yeah. It's good to see you, Pete. Dude, that I'm was like, back. Oh, we really licked him over there. We gave him hell, didn't we? <laughs> yeah, you certainly did. I can always trust on you, my old war horse. <laughs> Pete. <laughs> like, and I want, and it was making me like, because that's how like you'd read, you. that's true. That's how yeah. they, like, that's how they wrote. That's how they, like, think if in the future they look back at us and the way we talk, we're like, yo, like if they... So we're getting a hold of their like personal letters and their diaries yeah. and shit. So like their letters back and forth are like, Dearest Robert, <laughs> oh dear friend, how I've missed you so. I think about you from time to time. Like stuff like that. 
if they found, and that's how we just assume they spoke because of their correspondence. Yeah. If they found our texts, oh my God. like a hundred years from now, they'd be like, it's so fucking litty right now, bro. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> what? <laughs> like just, you know, does that oh, make it's gonna sense? Be, yeah, it's going to be horrible. <laughs> I've thought about the- I wonder uh, if their correspondence was a little different than how they spoke is what I'm saying. You think they strictly spoke in like, like we don't speak like, when they saw each other? Yeah, like ah, Stonewall. Jeez, Stonewall, my motherfucker, me. <laughs> no, Stonewall they was great. They probably talked like that, dude. I believe. I, dude, I, I, I believe you, they did. In the 15th century, there was a whole art of like making a sick facial expression the entire day of just being like. <laughs> <laughs> like we talked about countenance before, dude. Just fucking. You would go to the town square. There was nothing to do at all. That was the other thing, too. They used to just, like, run out of money, and you'd be like, fuck, all that money's gone. And you would just sit there and be like. Yeah, they got tricked. The same way my whole family did. Just a whole town would be like, ah, fuck, we're out of wheat. They took all the wheat. Well, that was originally money was for the upper class, and the way it trickled down to the lower class was because soldiers finally started looting. Once they made a lot of money, a soldier would conquer another, like, advanced army. Yeah. Like, just, like, shitty guys would get, like, sweet, we have money, and just yeah. spend it on bullshit. And then that's how, like, they said the money started to circulate to the population. Wasn't supposed to get to the young, wasn't supposed to get to the lower class. Soldiers just buy hookers and like beef jerky, and everyone was like, "Dude, we're fucking." Yeah. These are our two main exports. Medi- that was a medieval rest stop. Most towns is <laughs> just like, "Here's a here's a slim gym and a hand job. <laughs> fucking get back out there, do what you gotta do. Just cutting heads off of barbarians." Oh yeah, but yeah, the Civil What's War. The that's what it's gonna be for sure. Dude. That's what the that's what the history podcast will be. So it'll just be people like my dearest, dearest John. Oh boy, how I've missed you so. Oh, so fucking. There was two guys that like loved each other, and it's it's two guys that were like best friends. They're like through our lens, clearly gay dudes. Do you think so? Winfield Scott and Uh, Armstead, mm. and one of them charged the other one at Pickett's Charge towards the end of the battle. And yes, they're like. Oh God! They've killed Wind, old Winfield. <laughs> like it's just so. <laughs> they're like, I think he's over the hill there, Jeb. Could I go speak to him, please? And it's like, sure. Yes. Talk to your old pal. Oh my like, God! Like two dudes be like, I've missed you. I've thought about you. Oh, just it's... two dudes that were gay, <laughs> clearly gay. <laughs> like I love you. Someone who was telling me this, I forget who it was. They were saying that uh, they've done, they've studied like some of the muskets in the, I think, Revolutionary War. And they said a lot of the people didn't want to sh- like a lot of people fake shot and like they would just overstuff them and like keep just putting bullets on bullets on That's bullets. That's in a shoot. movie. Was that what it was? I think it's in Gettysburg. Was it? There's people yeah. who just were like, I don't want to shoot this. I think guy. there's a character, this Irish guy, who turns out was totally made up. Spent my whole life thinking there was an Irish guy in the 20th Maine that ruled. Fake. Fake. Fake news. Sucks. Uh, yeah, he's like they just keep loading, Colonel. They never fire a shot. Yeah. I think it, I heard it in that. I know it's Some, in yeah, someone was saying they. But studied, it could be a real fact. They studied the guns, and they were people were just yeah. going like there were people who were just like nah. I don't want to give away too much, but Civil War rules, dude. I'm 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 fucking I'm fully McCuskered for the Civil War, yes, dude. I'm so I'm yeah. so excited. Yeah, yeah, I'll do it. I, and I think I might maybe get the Spud Man in for an episode. I don't know how to do it. Should I do it by myself? Because that'll be crazy. I tried to record uh, an episode. It, Rec- it's crazy. Recording stuff audio by yourself is. It's crazy. I have an episode that's. You'll get used every to it. minute. You, you would get used to it. Um, every minute stops by me being like, "What the fuck?" Which would be. Very it would funny. be funny. Yeah. And I've kept it. I yeah. kept the one. I was like, "This is the West." What the fuck am I calling it that for? <laughs> like, just like. <laughs> like so, we're gonna get into that. I'm like, why the fuck would I ever say that? I would just do both. I would. I would have people. It always is nice too to bounce stuff off of people. You, yeah. I'm, I'm very much looking forward to you and Spud talking Civil War, dude. Spud's that's gonna be fired up about Stonewall Jackson right now. Yeah, he, that would be and tight. He's, dude, you give him an audio book, dude. Again, I think a lot of our fucking autistic yeah, he's pixie got dust is around. He swears he's not autistic. I don't think he's autistic. I think he's just crazy. Yeah, so I think <laughs> Spud Dog's just wild. I think he has like Vincent Van Gogh head or something. Yeah, he has this like he must have like constant tinnitus. He's a tortured artist, dude. I w- I texted him to apologize <laughs> mm-hmm. about the like I was just I was like I, I was just kidding. He was like, "Thank God," but I couldn't tell if he was no. I think he genuinely fucking f- with me or was like, "I'm relieved" because I was that was something I was worried about that you thought I was talking. I don't know. He probably thought you were fucking throwing him under the bus, dude. I would never. Yeah, I don't think I know. I know you wouldn't. Too. I have nothing but love and respect for this Spud Man. Yeah, I think he just thought. It's old pals, old pal Shane. Oh, do you think old Winfield's over there on the Dear other side? Dear Shane, your last Dear podcast, 
Cut me to the core. Cut. I've been stricken down with the melancholy. <laughs> I've seen brighter days, friend. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that was. Your latest electric correspondence cut me down. Damn it. But yeah, I, th- I think you most should... of my research has been playing Civil War video games. That's that counts. It's the only way to research properly. It counts. Dude. I got to put myself in the mind of the generals and be like, "What would I do?" Oh, <laughs> dude, I'm for real, <laughs> seriously. You should. So what you should do is do the audio and then overlay it on you playing the battle in the game. That'll be pretty tight. I'm just spitballing here. Yeah, true. I would want a video aspect of it. That would be you if need you, to if, see you did, if you did a thing over fucking like like an Age of Empires Civil War game that would be the funniest <laughs> even if it was just totally unrelated of you just moving pieces <laughs> that would be so All fucking right, I'll funny. toss some of that that would be so fucking funny um nice. but yeah I think you should do it Bring there's a in. video game dude there's a computer game I must mm-hmm. get and in order for me to get it I would have to buy a desktop that's like super powerful yeah and set up like monitor i would just have to set up a gaming station dude for one game become great dude i could become the most elite <laughs> and but it's called war of rights yeah it fucking rules yeah all right you play as one soldier it's multiplayer mm-hmm. civil war but you, you have to one like soldier you play as a guy but you have to like dudes like do their role yeah like you stand in a line and walk and then somebody's like aim Fire! And then, like, you all march around together. What? There's guys that, like, just hold the wheel of a cannon. And someone's like, all right, two to the left. And you just sit there. What? Aim. You got to see it. It's full of I'm going to show you War of Rights. Please do. I got to get in on this. You might it's have just to. just nerds that are willing to simulate a battle. Fuck. Like, nobody's yelling the Fuck. N-word. That's nope. not-